What's up, my ladies out there today? Mm, I'm sure we're going to have fun with this one today. So, yes, strap in because I think it's going to be a funny ride. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, back at you again for another Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy. And, uh, yeah, man, glad, to, uh, glad that this whole thing kept on going, man, because I know there's a lot more stuff to get to out there. And uh, I know I'm not going to be pleased with all of it, just like I'm not pleased with all the stuff I see from the men of stand-up comedy either. I'm just a fan of stand-up comedy. So, yeah, man, um, glad to keep it going on, and we're going to get into another one today. And uh, we're going to tackle another clip from Adele Givens today, y'all. <laughs> all right. Well, um, it's been a little bit, you know, I've only done one by her, but it was a, it was a while ago and I loved every second of it. It was amazing. Uh, but like I said, man, um, I love Adele Givens, man. I think she's sexy as hell, funny as hell. And, uh, overall, I just think she got some of the, um, the best energy on stage when it comes to the ladies to stand up. And we're going to go ahead and get into another one from her today. And, uh, this one is going to be titled loves being a lady. Mm, okay. And uh, this one's also from Def Comedy Jam, by the way. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what it is about her, man. It's like, she's not like other females, you know, not like other women in general, man. She just really, she's got attitude, you know what I mean? She's got, um, she's got stage presence, man, but most of all, she's got smarts, man. And because she doesn't say the things that you would expect to hear uh, from a woman, uh, especially in these days, you know what I mean? But this is a little while ago, obviously. But, yeah, man, I just love to hear what she has to say. I've seen a couple of other clips from, uh, of stand-up from her over the years. But uh, the first time I saw, the first clip I reacted to was on the Queens of Comedy. And uh, I still haven't watched that whole thing yet. You know, I actually, you know, might have to um, tackle another one of those on the, on the channel. But, um, yeah, we're going to see what she's talking about with this one. So we're going uh, we're gonna to go ahead and get into it, like I said. Adele Givens loves being a lady from Def Comedy Jam. And if you like this reaction, please hit on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? You guys know the deal, and I'm glad you guys are sticking to it. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, just coming off of seven days in a row of working, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm tired as hell, but you know what? I know I still got this going on, and I wasn't going to duck and dodge this for a second. So we're continuing on, and uh, let's see uh, how many more laughs we can get into. Let's do this. Adele Gibbons loves being a lady from uh, Def Comedy Jam right here on Eddie BTV, Women's Wednesday at Stand Up. Let's have some fun and get our laugh on. Oh, yeah, man. Let's see what she's going to be talking about today, man. First one was no scrubs, you know, because, yeah, that one I had to get to, but we'll see what she's talking about. Loves being a lady. Let's get into this one here and let's get situated. And here we go. What's up? What's up? Do I look like a fucking lady or what? Hell yeah. Ladies Hell in yeah. the house tonight. I like being a fucking lady. Especially in the 90s, we get to say what the fuck we want to, don't we, girl? Yeah. That's right. And still be a lady. That's right. Because you know, in the old days, they couldn't say the shit they wanted to say. They had the fake orgasms and shit. We can tell niggas today, hey, I want to come, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, that's real. Shit, we got Oprah. <laughs> I watch Oprah, goddammit, because I ain't got no man. But that's all right, because between Oprah and my gynecologist, I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, I learned to appreciate that fucking pap smear. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Come out once a year, bullshit. I'll see you tomorrow, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ten inches of iron, hard, say shit. <laughs> when he finish, I smoke a fucking cigarette. Uh-oh. Was it good for you too? <laughs> yeah. And some women like foreplay, you know. If you creative enough, you can get foreplay with that fucking pap smear. Oh yeah. All you gotta do is say some shit like, Doc, uh, could I get a breast exam before the pap smear? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a knot in this motherfucker. Why don't you check it out? Oh hell no, you fool. I know, I know. I know what you're saying. She's so fucking feminine and ladylike. <laughs> She's such a fucking lady. Yes, I am. 
For sure, for sure, for sure. I ain't a lady. I like to shout, cause ladies like to shout, don't we girls? But don't you hate them bitches that work in the store following you around asking you stupid shit? Trying to keep you from stealing and shit? I hate them hoes. Bitches on commission, what I call them. <laughs> you trying some fucked up shit. Oh, girl, that look good. <laughs> Where you wet, bitch, okay? Oh. I try to avoid them. You know, I go to a rack and take eight or nine items off the rack and go in the fitting room, but they'll knock on the fucking door, won't they? How do those fit? <laughs> like, gee, they fit perfect, but my purse won't zip up now, bitch. <laughs> do you have a bigger bag I could use? Oh, shit. Don't fuck uh -huh. with me when I'm being feminine and ladylike. <laughs> I love being a lady now, you know, because you can say shit that you couldn't... You know, for example, I could tell y'all right now that sometimes I'm in a shower and I got to pee. I don't get out that mother. <laughs> I don't blame her. I don't blame her at Shit. all. Do your thing, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm thinking of water going down any motherfucking way. You know exactly. Shit, why wet up my toilet, don't you know? I know what you're thinking. She's such a fucking lady. That's right. I was raised that way. I like, because men, I like men. I like y'all. I ain't got none right now, but I like y'all. Y'all cool, but y'all do some stupid shit. Especially when you got a little old dick. Oh, shit. You do, you do some stupid shit them little dick men do. You ladies, you ever walking down the street, two guys in the car ride up, how come it's always that motherfucker on the passenger side that say, hey baby, wanna ride? <laughs> I should have seen what that coming. What the fuck I'm gonna do, take your place, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that what you doing, getting a fucking ride? Oh. Stupid shit, man. Stupid. And I know by now y'all notice I've got some big ass lips. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know there's some big motherfuckers. See? Yeah. Hey, I know there's some big motherfuckers. Yeah, all my lips are big, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's right. Oh, see, shit. See, there's a kind of motherfucker yeah. hollering about blowjob, and he wearing about a size four, little old feet, so you know his dick's small. Ow. I couldn't give him no blowjob. My big ass lips, his little old dick. It wouldn't work. Motherfucker. <laughs> and she wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Oh, hell no. Am I last? Oh, shit. I can't oh. move with this, man. Hey, my name's oh. Adele Gibbons. Enjoy the rest oh, of the show. Oh, my God. That was a so fast line, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. She a damn fool for that, man. Oh, my goodness. A whale of Tic Tac. Okay. Yeah, you just painted a very vivid picture right there. My God. Woo. Oh, man. I knew I missed Adele, man. You awesome as hell, woman. Please. If you single, please holla at me. I don't care, man. Me and my lady gonna have to fight about it, man. But I will have to break a few rules to hook up with you, sweet thing. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was Adele Gibbons with Loves Being a Lady <laughs> from Deaf Comedy Jam. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, you know, usually when the issues of uh, like women's issues comes up, it's usually something that I got to chime in on that, you know, might sound a little unflattering or whatever. But, you know, that's not this day today, man. I will say this, man. I think that uh, women... Um, should have been able to do certain things, you know what I mean, forever ago. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just, I don't like when I when I read the history books about it or I just like look up on some stuff, how things were for women back in the day in some ways. You know, some ways, you know, things were just like traditional, you know, women playing their role the way something should be. And, but, you know, there were some things that was just a little out of whack. I think that the fact that women get to say whatever they want you know, do the things that they want. I think that's a great thing. You know, don't ever think for any amount of time that I'm just saying that women shouldn't be doing anything. That's that's not what I'm about. The only thing that I get a little uppity about sometimes is when women try to tackle too much just because, you know, well, 
we got this equality thing going on, so we should just be able to do everything. No, 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 no. Not everything, all right? Just like there's some dudes out there that shouldn't be trying to do some things themselves, you know? Because I, like I said, there's nothing that I will say about a woman that I won't say about a man to a certain extent, you know what I mean? That's just like, I like to play, I like to play fair no matter what. I just think that sometimes fairness kind of gets a little bit clouded sometimes when it comes to some of the things women say and some of the things that the fellas say too. So don't think I'm leaving the fellas out at all. But yeah, man, I, I think that sex probably wasn't as good for women back in the day, you know, because, you know, they probably weren't able to say some things that they probably wanted to say about it for fear or whatever about some shit going down. But nah, man, I'm just saying like, if women want uh, a good uh, good sexual experience, you want to be sexual beings, be my guest, man. I don't judge, man. I know there's some words going on these days about, you know, body counts and, you know, promiscuity and all that. Yeah, you know, you could probably have something to say about that. But me, I let I, I say live and let live. You know, if you ain't down with it, you probably just mad because you ain't the one getting nothing out of it. But that's just me. But um, other than that, man, I love the fact that women get to do the things that they want. The only thing is, is keep it, you know, within reason and fellas do the same thing. You know, just, that's all I got to say about that. So ladies, keep being y'all, you know, just make sure you ain't stepping over no lines and uh, fellas, y'all do the same. You know, it's a mutual respect. Uh, but other than that, man, um, <laughs> she was talking about the pap smear. <laughs> I mean, I've heard it's pretty unpleasant in some ways, you know, because women have told me that over the years, but I don't know, depending on your your speed as a lady, you might be able to have a little fun with that. I mean, I don't know what the deal is. I choose not to want to know certain things just because I want to keep some things to the imagination. But uh, the way she talked about it just made me laugh my ass off, though. Um, uh, having a, a doctor's visit for a man when it comes to dealing with reproductive issues, man. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, not too fun, you know, if, unless you got a fine female doctor or something like that, then all of a sudden you better hope your dick don't get hard during the examination. <laughs> but, uh, man, okay, I'm sorry. I'm speaking about my past as a young teenager and all that. I'm so sorry to all my lady doctors out there. But, um, yeah, man, I, I like, it's just like I'm saying, Adele Givens, she does say some things about the fellas that'll probably get the fellas feelings hurt or whatever, but what are you really going to say? You know what I mean? She'll chime in on uh, dumb shit that the ladies do too. That's why I, I like her so much because she's fair. You know what I mean? She's balanced and all that. She knows what to say and how to say it. But um, other than that, then I knew, uh, I, I, I kind of felt like that line about the, uh, the the dude and the passenger side would come up. But I was like, right, whatever, do your thing, girl. But I think it's kind of funny, man, because me, I've been the dude in the passenger seat at times, and uh, I know what I'm rocking, so yeah, I don't give a damn, you know, just make sure that your ass get in the back seat, you know. But um, some some dudes, you know, are the lackeys that are the drivers, you know, and sometimes the dude who's got his business right is the one that's the passenger. Just because you ain't got a car don't mean you can't handle no business, but that's, I'm speaking on more past stuff right there, but... Yeah, man, that No Scrub song was an anthem for the ladies, man. I said that in the first one, but yeah, it was kind of like a misguided anthem for some of the ladies. Some of them got it right, a lot of them got it wrong. You know, just like the fellas get a lot of stuff wrong too, but yeah, man, I just be thinking like, I don't know really how to, you know, to speak on the whole issues of like, females and the males, you know what I mean, when it comes to like, you know, genitalia and all that, because some some people will say that if you a dude, you got a little dick, that means you can't say that much. I'd be like, well, you know, tell that to his face and see what happens. I mean, I'm not promoting domestic violence or something like that, but you know what? Not everyone was born with a mandingo or anything else in between, so you got to kind of have to pump your brakes about what you're saying people can't say. But uh, other than that, man, there's some females out there that really ain't got some... Uh, good good but yet they want to talk like they got some good good too but that's a whole nother conversation man but fellas y'all know what it means when a woman got some good and you know well the way she talks some smack or whatever you be feeling like hmm this is interesting <laughs> but yeah man stuff goes down stuff goes down but that line at the end when she was talking about a whale uh giving a whale a tick that that oh my god that right there was a smooth cold-blooded line right there man because i swear I saw everyone in the audience of the video jumping up and down screaming. That would have been me because I would have been like, damn, she straight up roasted old boy in the audience, man. But you know what? Funny as hell. I ain't got no complaints. Adele Gibbons is raw as hell. Um, 
I just love her, man. She got all the right stuff to say, man. She real as hell, and she's smart as hell, too, for what she say. She don't let the, she don't bail the, the, the ladies out, you know what I mean, either, man. If they doing dumb shit, she'll let them know, straight up. But uh, other than that, man, awesome clip, man. I know that um, Def Comedy Jam, there's so many Def Comedy Jam clips that I haven't seen before. I know, you know, somebody smacked me upside my head for that one. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get to some more of those that I haven't seen on the channel eventually. So uh, yeah, very funny clip from Adele. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there one more time. Uh, Adele Givens with Loves Being a Lady from Def Comedy Jam. And if you like that reaction, please put on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Please and thank you, and uh, very much appreciate it. So yeah, this is going to be Eddie BTV, uh, wrapping this one up one more again. Uh, another clip added to the... Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy variety, man, and it was a good one, man. Um, I try to spread out the clips as much as I can, you know, just because I don't want to be too repetitive. I've said that before, but sometimes, you know, it might happen. You know, I, it, it'd be a little unconventional of me, but sometimes I might double down a little bit. I don't know. But I guess it's just depending on my mood or whatever. Uh, today, I was just in a mood for some more Adele Givens. So I just typed the name in, was scrolling through some clips, and I saw this one. I'm like, you know what? I want to see what this one was about. Um, I, I seen like, um, I remember her face and how she looked in this one because I saw a couple commercials when they were selling like Def Comedy Jam DVDs on TV. And I saw it and was like, do I look like a fucking lady or what? I was like, you know what? I want to see that one one day. And uh, yeah, man, glad I was able to get to it. It was fun as hell. So uh, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in one more time to this one. Uh, I had a lot of fun getting to it. Adele is my lady, you know what I mean? And she loves being a lady so much. Well, keep being the lady that you are, you sexy, beautiful thing, you. Um, I don't know um, if she's doing a lot of stand-up these days. I haven't really seen or heard much from her or whatever. But either way, man, I know I got a lot more of her to get to, at least, you know, if I'm just going to um, uh, tackle those a little bit. But, uh, yeah, man, I had fun getting to this one, and I hope you guys did, too. So until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.